Greetings, Sekiro Guru here, and I'm back. And I'm going to be taking on some of the most moronic comments that I've had on my boss guides. Such as this fool, David Mummy, who said on the Blazing Bull video, You're a fucking idiot, this guide is absolute shit, he doesn't use the same attack over and over, you've got no idea what you're talking about. You've got no idea how to spell, David, you worm. Well, you mummy's boy, David, we're about to put you and many other clowns like you to the test. Adar Shah tried a hundred times and still couldn't get it to work. What a belly. Flash King claimed it to be the most useless thing he's ever seen. No, that would be your cock, you coward. Some pig trying to make a liar out of the guru. Well, it still seems to be working 100% like I said in the original video, doesn't it, you ignorant swine? It is the Muffin Man claims it has been patched, and the bull just throws you up in the air when trying to block. That's because I told you to parry, you idiot, not block. And Sean Watterson states I just got lucky. The guru doesn't need luck, Sean. You're just shit. Another idiotic comment from Cody Amos this time who said, Lies, blocking doesn't work. Thanks for wasting time. Please delete yourself for being a liar. How do these people survive daily life when they can't even listen to basic instructions? Before we move on to the next boss and idiotic comments that go with it, here's a quick word from our kind sponsor. Raid Shadow Legends has everything you'd want from a dark fantasy RPG. PvP, lots of missions, items and customization as well as hundreds of characters to collect and play with. There's plenty of bosses for you to test your Star Whip champions against. And it now supports crossplay between your phone and PC so you can carry on your progress on either platform anytime. Level up your champions and take on all challenges in the PvP arena. Level 1 noob versus my legendary heroes, no problem. A new event is live right now, Battle Pass Season 1, where you can win awesome rewards such as epic and legendary champions by completing the daily and weekly challenges. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click on the special links, and if you are a new player, you will get 100,000 silver, 1 energy refill, 50 gems, and 1 free champion executioner. You will find your extra rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. Find me in the game under the name Tyrannicon. Do a dare challenge the guru in the PvP arena. Next up is the long arm centipede giraffe. There are plenty of dickheads who couldn't grasp the simple concept of pressing one button over and over as fast as you can like the numpty Nathan Thompson and Rudini whatever. Like I said in my guide, as long as you spam the button as fast as you can, you will never get hit. And the boss's posture will fill up, leaving you with an easy kill. Vit Dips the dipshit was so dumb that he thought I said spam the attack button instead of the block button. And Knobhead Northy Northy claimed the enemy yellow bar not full ever. Just keep attack me, not stop ever. Well, that'd be because you didn't do what I told you to, wouldn't it? You can't spell or speak basic English either. The little Barrow claims to just keep getting bypassed when he bloke. I see where he went wrong there. And the King of Fuck All claimed it was a trick video that doesn't even work. Take a look, dweeb, and see that it clearly does. What do these people think, that I paid off the AI to make it cooperate with me? That I'm using magic? Believe your own eyes, you morons. Chris the incompetent Jordan reckons it's fake, and his parry breaks in one go. Utter horseshit. Considering you can never be guard broken on a successful parry. Blah blah had no help despite dieting in the way that I told him to. And Radio Beat will thank me for nothing despite giving him the easiest possible guard there ever could be. Baby Dark was left very confused by trying to press one button over and over. Despite these idiots, there were plenty of people who commented that the guide worked and it helped them. So these fools should be deeply ashamed of themselves for being so thick that they couldn't even press one button over and over. Now we move on to Oniwa. In my guide, I showed that you can easily beat him by just holding blocks the whole time, while you wait for his spear to get stuck in the ground, giving you the chance to safely hit him three times. As long as you stay close to him, you can do it the whole fight and easily kill him without being hit once. But according to Dark Wolf 149, I was a goddamn liar. Well, take another look, you shit username, you. See how the blocks cannot be penetrated. Another fool in Gethes posting that only 15% or maybe even less of the moves are blocked. You look closer too, you joke of a gamer. See that all the moves are easily blocked. Andrew Nerdlinger calls bullshit doesn't work. 
What is wrong with these people? Even when it is shown clear as day in a video, they still claim it doesn't work just because they fucking suck at following basic instructions. Take a look at this idiot's comment, DMG3. Still fucking hits me through blocking bullshit. Does this loser even know what the block button is? He must not. Barnett the Josh is another one who completely failed at holding the block button. Even admits he failed over and over. Stick to Minecraft, dork. The guru has no time for wasters like you. Tom Dubell posted, strategy does not work. Tried, he just does nothing but sweeping attacks which are unblockable. Thanks for nothing. Well, Tom the Bell sniff, that will be because you never stay close to him like is obviously shown in the original video. Thanks for being a total and net dickwad. Sly Boots said it doesn't work no matter how much he blocks. What a fucking joke this game is. Such a waste of lifetime. Let's do this for the hundredth time. Fun, where are you? Such a waste of lifetime. Who the fuck talks like that? A scared idiot who can't even beat the first boss in the game, even with the help of the masterful ghoul. That's who. This type of comment was a popular one throughout all of the boss guides, blaming patches for your failings. A classic. I still get comments like that pretty much nearly every day, even though there hasn't been a patch on this game for nearly a year. But these people are so stupid that they either don't realize this, or they're just in denial. I'm gonna vote both. Time for the Corrupted Monk. The tactic to this ghoul was pretty easy. Activate Divine Confetti, get up close to deploy Firecrackers to Stunner, hit her twice before using more Firecrackers, repeat until you've run out, and then bait her into a jump attack. So you can run underneath it and get some free hits in until she's dead. Not hard to follow at all. Unless your name is Dragon TV, who claims you can't stun her long enough to hit her more than once, she hits you back when using it. Take a good look, sucker, and see how wrong you are. He wasn't alone in his lies, however. Soggy Biscuit claimed the same. I'm not sure how they fucked this up, to be honest. Gold Hunter Bob dared to question the jump bait tactic, claiming she doesn't jump far enough. Let's find out, shall we? Prove that dimwit wrong and a bunch of other cunts such as Maximus, who claims the moat never jumps. Hell said the same, but none of them clearly listened to what I said in the guide that you have to be a certain distance from her to make her jump. Look how often she does it when you are the correct distance. McCoy Green fucked up on this too, as did Chris Bailey. All of these assholes had to do was listen to me in my original video, and they would have saved themselves from looking like fools. Beppo jumps on the she never jumps bandwagon, and Sergio was very upset with the lack of jumping. Pay more attention to the guru next time, Sergio. This twat, harsh coot dared to insult the guru's method even though the video showed it clearly worked. And Rio2Raw confidently claimed there was no way to stop that jump attack. Dumbass. Another boring comment about her not jumping from Dio. I really wish I was a simpleton like these morons. Life would be so much easier. Ignorance is bliss as they say. And now for Father Owl. Probably the vid with the most idiotic comments. Constant moron saying that when they fight him, he has more moves and the guy doesn't work. This is despite me clearly saying in the video that you have to hold forwards the whole time when he is running towards you and dodge to the left of him. This pattern will limit his move set to just three moves. But they never listened and instead blamed it on the ghoul. Morons like David Ento, who put it down to me playing a different version of the game. We're all on patch 1.04, David. So I'm afraid it was just your incompetence that let you down. Roger lost dirt to question the forward and dodge technique. Seems to work just fine as you can see at a glance. Another fool in K-Man Sports claiming dodging doesn't work. If it didn't work then I wouldn't have been able to do it in the video, would I you dumb shit? A mustache asked me to remake the video. Well here it is and you can see that nothing has changed. Bruce Shaw said the original video is fake. I must have reprogrammed the boss's AI, must I, Bruce, you fuck up. What's more likely, that, or you just didn't follow the guy properly, you idiot? G Lan wondered why he only does a few attacks of me in 20 for him, even though I explained how to limit his moves to just three. And he now has an unblockable combo, apparently, according to Andrew Chang. Well, where is it, Andrew, as it's not appearing for me? This guy doesn't work anymore, does it, Spoolak? I hope you are watching this, you cretin, you. D.O.D. wondering like so many other morons why he doesn't do more moves in the video. Well D, I hope this video enlightens your tiny mind. The top 10 channel with another stupid comment about the moveset. 
And Conrad claims Owl is more dangerous than Patch 1.04. Well, this is Patch 1.04, you cunt. And I've been dancing with the Owl for a few minutes now, dodging his moves by following my own fucking advice. Adam reckons never thrust after a Makiri counter, as Owl will 100% counter back. Let's see. Nope, you're wrong, like all these other comments. If you thrust attack him straight away, he will never counter you. Cinematic anime trailers demanded I delete my guide, as he always counters thrusts now. Take a look, you dweeb, as he hasn't countered me once, and the thrust attack is the only move that I'm doing. I think I proved my point. We don't need to fight him until he's dead, but it'll take too long this way, and the guru has better things to do. So the moral of the story is, think before you post, and never question the guru. I believe in you, Banana. You can do it, if anyone can. Make me proud, Banana. Priority one is save the boat. My son happens to get killed, so be it. We sacrifice Bond. Leap of faith, Banana! 